This question is asking why can we never obtain a perfect square wave in the lab? So a perfect square wave is one with these perfect sharp corners. We said this only really exists in, in textbooks or on a, on a whiteboard. You would never see this in real life. You would always have these overshoots. You have these little ripples here. So why is that? What's, what's making it impossible to obtain a perfect square wave? So remember we said the Fourier series requires an infinite number of components. So what we need is an infinite number of sine waves. So if I use the generalized formula, we'll have Cn times cosine n omega naught t plus phi. So the key thing here is this. We need an infinite number. So if we're limited, if we only have a, a finite number of um, components we can add together, possibly because we only have a finite bandwidth, then we're unable to produce this. So we end up with this distortion, which we call Gibbs phenomenon. So let's go through the reasons one by one. So the first one says, because the phase errors would make the wave asymmetrical. So it isn't really about errors. The reason we can't produce a perfect square wave isn't because of phase errors, no. So it, it's not that. The same in B, amplitude errors. It's not about having errors causing it to be rounded rather than flat, no. We're looking for something that says we, we don't have an infinite bandwidth. It's not possible to add sine waves. No, it is possible. It's perfectly possible. You'll be doing that in experiment three. So that, that's false. Because the experiment must be performed in the time domain. That doesn't make sense. We, when we perform an experiment, when we manipulate signals, we're manipulating signals. It's happening in both domains, all domains. A domain is just how we choose to represent the signal. It's how we look at our signal. So our, our, our experiment isn't in the time domain or the frequency domain. We just represent it or look at it or imagine it or think about it in one domain rather than the other. So here it is, because of the finite bandwidth available. So finite means limited, so it's not infinite. So it means we're only uh, able to add a finite number, so from n to, for example, 10, or 100, or 1,000. But whatever it is, that is finite. So we don't have an infinite number of, um, of uh, components to add. So it said we would need an infinite number of frequencies for a perfect square wave. And everything that we've said about a square wave will apply to any other wave. If you wanted a perfect triangular wave or a perfect anything, anything other than a sine wave, it's impossible to reproduce in a lab perfectly for the same reason. So that's the answer to that question.